Man, last night was crazy. Heard all this racket and some guy was in my house. Looked a lot like this guy. Prepare for lunch. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs. Coming to you once again from the Nerd Den, located high atop Luna Base. And today we are looking at the Naughty or Nice Santa Claus from Fresh Monkey Fiction. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start off by looking at the packaging. Big Naughty or Nice, nice big window. You can see the figure, the extra head, a few accessories. Uh, got the Fresh Monkey Fiction logo right there. Uh, big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Did order that from them. I actually pre-ordered this back in January. And I knew it was going to be a while. They said it would be December before it got here. And it was. But uh, very well worth the wait. Got to look at uh, some of the other versions that you can possibly pick up if you're interested in those. <laughs> Mall Santa just looks uh, a little trashy there. Got Krampus, <laughs> very scary. Cyborg Santa, Pirate Santa, Sergeant Santa, very cool. But uh, very cool, classic Santa. This is actually the uh, second version. This is a re-release. Uh, very similar to the first one. Uh, the original version, the beard is uh, much more pure white. Uh, this one's got a little bit of gray to it, which I kind of dig. I'm glad I waited to the second version. But uh, let's get it out of the box and check it out. All right, got Santa out of the box, and this is a very cool figure. I'm really liking it. Uh, let's start off checking out the accessories. We have milk and cookies. Uh, start off with a glass of milk. It's very nice looking, uh, just simple glass of milk. But the milk actually comes out. So you can just have them holding an empty glass if you want. He's already polished off the cookies. <laughs> uh, we've got a nice little plate of cookies, and the cookies are separate. Uh, chocolate chip, my favorite. <laughs> but nice and simple. Uh, nothing too fancy, but hey, it's a plate of chocolate chip cookies. What do you want? <laughs> uh, we do have a gift here, a little gift box. Looks nice. The top doesn't come off. Uh, seems like if you really tried, you might be able to get it off, but, uh, I'm just going to leave it on there. It is definitely glued down. Uh, we do have our naughty or nice list. Nice little scroll, a little bit of weathering on it to make it look like some parchment. Do have some names on there, but it looks like it's just gibberish. Uh, if you use your imagination and kind of squint, you might be able to make out some names, but as far as I can tell, it's just uh, gibberish writing in there. Uh, we do have the alternate head. It is a winking head. Very nice sculpt. Uh, got the uh, nice dry brushing on the beard and mustache. Really brings out the details. Uh, like I said, the original version that came out last year, this was just very stark white. Uh, kind of like his hat, I guess. And uh, maybe didn't call out the details as much as you would like. So I'm very glad I waited and got this second re-release with the uh, kind of gray in his beard. And we do have some alternate hands. We got two open hands. So, uh, you know, open hands. Seen those on action figures a million times. Got uh, hinges on them. So, uh, nothing too crazy about that and we do have a pointing figure it's, uh, maybe he caught you out of bed maybe he does a little thing to the side of his finger on the side of his nose you know like the old point <laughs> the night before christmas and we do have a nice little figure stand here Let's see if i can't get it there you go naughty or nice it's a very stark white base there so <laughs> the lights kind of blow it out but yeah, got a two peg, uh, foot pegs on it. So uh, lots of nice accessories. And they were nice enough to provide a nice little baggie to store them all in. It's uh, very cool. But let's get to the main part of this. The figure itself. 
and it is a very nice looking figure again the regular head sculpt very nice looking classic looking santa the hat is removable so that's a nice touch so you can put it on the alternate head or just have them holding it in hand something like that uh articulation head is on a ball joint but it doesn't got a lot of motion the beard really keeps it from doing too much so uh, mostly you're going to get kind of a side to side swivel a little bit that's okay uh arms very nice tight joints i do like that but not overly tight get them into a nice t-pose uh elbows single jointed yeah pretty much 90 degrees maybe a little shy uh the hands peg in there again these are the uh, gripping hands uh just a regular hand right there and they do swivel in the wrist uh do have uh, some articulation at the hips there. Uh, not a ton, but you know, it's Santa Claus. He's not going to be doing anything too dynamic. So uh, not a lot of front uh, facing tilt. And you do get this gap if you try to go too far anyway. Uh, going back, uh, not much of anything. Uh, yeah, a little bit more than I expected though. But you do start getting that gap. And be careful, don't get your belt buckle caught in there uh the bottom part of his uh outfit here looks like the belt and the bottom part of his jacket are actually a separate piece they do kind of peg in right there to keep it from riding up or getting away from you but it's very soft plastic so it gets out of the way of the legs uh the legs kick up yeah very nicely almost 90 degrees let's see going back yeah nothing going back and kicking out to the side <laughs> wow yeah he'd give the rockets a run for their money <laughs> there. so that's pretty cool uh we do have a thigh cut so that's nice uh single jointed knee not quite 90 degrees and it does swivel at the knee as well then we have the foot bends down pretty nicely uh, kicks up not super far and then we do have a rocker so he should be able to get posed up very easily but I uh, got the nice deep red uh, color of his suit I really like that a uh, little bit of dry brushing on the uh, white makes it not so stark I do appreciate that sort of calls out the uh detail of the sculpt it's a very nice filling figure it feels substantial in the hand good quality filling plastic poses nicely joints are tight but not too tight so it's going to hold his pose so yeah stick his hat back on i am extremely happy with this anna uh figure so i'm going to get him posed up and i'll give you my final thoughts Okay, we got Santa all posed up, got his list in one hand and a gift in the other, ready to stick that under the tree. <laughs> this is a very cool figure, uh, very nice job by Fresh Monkey Fiction. And this is a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Uh, they kind of do it like a Kickstarter over there. Uh, started a year ago. Well, actually the first wave came out a year ago. It actually started two years ago, I, I believe. But uh, the first uh, version came out last year around Christmas. Uh, there are different uh, versions, as I showed you on the back of the packaging. There's Ball Santa, Cyborg Santa, there's a Zombie Santa, I believe. <laughs> and they also have a series of elves that go along with it. Uh, so lots of options. Uh, they kind of run it like a uh, Kickstarter campaign. So if there is a version you want, you go, you pre-order it. If they get enough pre-orders, they make it. If they don't, then they give you your money back so no real risk there but very happy uh with the way this figure turned out uh looks great uh good quality plastic nice sculpt work great paint couldn't be happier uh adding a little uh holiday joy to the toy figure shelves but yeah if you are interested in this 
make sure you get it over to uh, Big Bag Toy Store and check them out. Uh, that is all I've got for today. Wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and I uh, hope you have a great new year. Uh, it's been a great year and I uh, look forward to uh, sharing more toy hunts and closer looks in the future. But uh, if you want to check out all my other videos, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any of my content. But that's all I've got for today. I'll see you guys next time around.